So the Mayo Portland Adaptability Inventory is something that I developed along with Muriel Lezak. And it, we, we have put it together, uh, actually over the last 15 or 20 years, we've gone through several iterations. We're now in the fourth version, and I, I think we're pretty close to getting it right, you know, after, after four, four revisions. Uh, but it's really designed to be more sensitive to that high, higher level of recovery. You know, the person who's still having, well, con considerable difficulty perhaps, but you know, isn't worried, you know, the, the basic things have been taken care of, so they're able to feed themselves, you know, they're able to, to function, I mean, their eyes are open, you know, they're, and now the real issues are community, return to community and employment. And so, you know, to get a good assessment at that level, we developed the Mayo Portland. It's, uh, it's, it has three subscales that assess basic abilities, cognitive and physical abilities, and the second subscale assesses adjustments, so emotional issues, interpersonal issues, self-awareness. And then the third subscale assesses community reintegration or participation, as, as we're calling it these days. So, uh, you know, back to work, independent living, use of transportation, money management, those, those kind of things. Uh, you know, we found it useful in that, you know, with that group of patients in treatment planning as well. So, when we do, it's a way for us to, to collate our evaluations of the patient and be fairly prescriptive. And, you know, if you're having trouble with memory, you know, what are we going to do to address that? If you're having trouble with depression, what are we going to do to address that? And again, the ultimate goal being to improve that participation index and get people back to their lives.